Hi, good evening, guys. Hi, good evening. Are you sick? Yes. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. It's raining in San Salvador. What? No. No. Not here. No. Not here. <laughs> it was raining a lot. In San Salvador? No, in San Miguel. Oh, in San Miguel? It rained in San Miguel? Uh, uh, yes. So it is hotter. Yes. <laughs> was it a thunderstorm? Mm, no, it was raining a lot. Now it's an uh, uh, electric storm. There's an electric storm. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay, you may start the class. Break the ice. Talk to a classmate. Let me hear you. I'm just giving some time to your classmates. Come on, guys. We have been together for two weeks already. You should be able to start a conversation with your classmates. Come on. Hello, good evening. Hello, Erica. Hello. What's going on with you? I'm a little bit better. <laughs> So you but the headache is still is still with me. Do you want to take it off right now? Are you at home? Yes, I'm at home. Okay. I want you to go to your kitchen and put some water to heat up. Okay? Heat up mm -hmm. some water. Yes. And the most you can handle, you know, the temperature of the water as yeah. much as much as you can handle and then put the put your feet inside the heat water ah yeah yeah you told me two classes ago it's got it's got to be really hot it's got to be really hot water just put your feet on the water for 1 minute 2 minutes and your headache will be gone yeah actually yesterday I was reading about um, pressure point or punto de presión in los pies on the feet. Yeah. And they were talking about uh, there is one point kind of on I don't know like in the in the curve of the feet in that place. Mm -hmm. In the curvature of the pie, like, like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You have the the point pressure point for your head. I, I mean, if you make a massage in that curve, your your uh your it's both your head just <laughs> just go out. Just okay. Left you. <laughs> Did you try it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Why but don't I'm, you? But I, how to say it, but I'm, 
um, cosquillosa. Cosquillosa, ok. Your picky. No, cos, cosquillosa. Cosquillas. Oh. <laughs> Me da cosquillas rápido. Cosquillas. Ok. I don't know what to say. But try something. I mean, try to, you, you get the tickles. You get the tickles. The tickles. <laughs> yeah, you get the tickles. Okay. Well, try something so you can get better. Okay. That's for sure. Okay. okay, tonight's topic, we have to review all the per conjunctions we have studied. We have studied um, during this session. Which are the per conjunctions that we have studied? Do you remember? Not only, but also. Mm -hmm. Neither nor. Mm -hmm. And. But and neither nor and both, both and, and. <laughs> that's right. Not only but also exactly not only but also both and and neither nor. That's it. Now yesterday we finished the class uh creating a rubric, but I think nobody finished it, right? Yeah. Did you finish your rubric? It was something very simple. It wasn't that difficult. I'll, I'll show you in just a minute. Let me do the attendance quickly so we can um, start with the class. Oh my God, where's your attendance? <gasps> Bad teacher. There you are, give me one second. Yep, here you are. Adriana Jose Serna Durán. Present. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Erika Jasmin Martinez Carpio. Present. Thank you. Fátima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Thank you. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present. Thank you. Iván Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. Present. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Lucy Nathalie Juarez de Ramírez. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Present. Good. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Thank you. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Thank you. Okay, so yesterday we said we, we were going to do a rubric. Good job. But, yeah. Uh, I'm here. What? Jolman, I didn't mention you? Yeah, Jolman Saul Giron Sanchez. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, Jolman. Okay. So, uh, how do you make a rubric? It's basically, let's see if I can just draw this. There's no way, no. Yeah, we could do this. I actually write something here? No, but if I go this route. So it's just a set of um key points that will help you hold on i'm doing this wrong if i do this like this and then just copy no it won't let me copy oh no it doesn't let me copy okay anyways so let's say you have a few bullet points that you would like to evaluate after a training 
uh, this is the way it will look like. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know how to do this with these tools, the, the Zoom tool, but just get the idea, okay? Get the idea. I'm just doing the fields. Because I don't have um other way of doing this here. I don't know. Okay. Um and yesterday I gave you the chance to um do three, just three, you know, three um areas of evaluation. So just to give you an example. If I am supposed to evaluate my teachers, um, I will be evaluating the areas. I'm going to call them evaluation areas. OK. Mm -hmm. Here we're gonna do, uh, what was it? Excellent. I don't care. Okay, excellent. Uh, then we have average. And four. four, four, four. Okay. So how do I do this? What do I really care to evaluate? Uh, the first thing that I care about um, my teachers is for them to have a student-centered class. Of course, these are just topics that I'm aware of. As a supervisor, I know how to have a student center class, okay? Mm, what else can I evaluate? Um, English level, okay? The English level of the teacher. And what else, what else could I evaluate? Mm, in general, all academies evaluate how dynamic the class is, but that's already under student center class. Okay, English level. Let me think, let me think. Time bound is already there as well. But yeah, time is always important. So activity, timing. How do I measure the student center class? Uh, well, is the stu is the teacher allowing the students to speak, or he's the only one, and he doesn't prestar la guitarra? He doesn't lend the guitar. You know, it's like it's talking all the time, right? Student center, okay. Um, lend the guitar. No, clearly, like that, you know, he lets the students speak or not. Okay. Um, so he's not the one doing the class. Number two, uh, time talk. How much time does he speak in English? And how much time does he speak? You know, as I explained to you yesterday, right? I take a chronometer, I take a stopwatch, I'm sorry. And I determine how much does he speak. What else? Mm, what else do I want to evaluate on student center class? Feedback. Does he provide feedback to his students and homework? Does he review the homework? He's always on top of homework. And the last thing, which is the most important in my opinion, is um, attack bottom performers don't 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 get it wrong okay it's not like attacking the students you know when they don't they don't do well no but attacking means if i know that one of my students is failing i will push him you know 
and and that's that's the, the name be pushy be pushy with your students hey where's the homework hey where's the homework hey repeat 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 okay good repeat always on top of the pronunciation on top of the grammar of the bottom performers because if you have 20 students you know like you know which ones are the ones that are not doing so well so you have to help them english level of course i have to evaluate like uh, if i was evaluating a student right his accent okay um does he use linking linking um sounds linking sounds on on his words the way he speaks no jargon and no slang no jargon and no slang jargon do you know what's jargon no adriana could use a lot of jargon when adriana starts talking about marketing and technology oh my god right it's all words related to your job that's jargon when i worked at dell as a technician as a computer technician i was not allowed to tell my customers on the phone okay uh did you remove the ddr3 ram from the motherboard you have to remove the pins you know and and be careful with the heat sink okay that's like what what that's jargon slang slang wanna gonna get a yeah got it so these are just examples right about activity timing um sometimes as teachers spend um and this is just time spent on each activity For example, if, if he or she is going to explain grammar, a grammar topic, if it is a new topic, it can take no more than five minutes. Okay, make sure students understand in the, those five minutes. And no Spanish in, in some cases, but I try to let them do it, you know, one time in Spanish and then the rest in English. When is a new grammar topic? No matter the level, if they are not understanding, they will not apply it. So this is just uh, an example of a rubric. Now I need your help. Let's do same rubric. Let's evaluate areas, excellent, average, and poor. Help me, what areas? Well, first of all, what um, niche could we, uh, use what kind of company or train or employees are we going to use let's figure it out together so let's say we delivered a training about what give me a topic i don't want to say it i don't want to say it you say it There are so many topics that you can receive training on. Hello, communication. Communication among employees, among co-workers? Yes, it's co-workers. <clears throat> uh, about uh, how to avoid an uh, accident or how how can I say when there is an accident? Oh. I shouldn't use it. First aids. 
Okay, first aid um, and PPE, personal protective equipment. Okay, how to avoid accidents at work, which is the same, similar to first aids and personal protective equipment. Um, two, two, three, I will say five years ago, the government started um, auditing, auditing companies, especially small and medium businesses. They sent someone from the Ministry of Labor to audit the facilities of the companies to determine if they had good working conditions. What does that mean? Get ready for some words. The lighting inside the company. There has to be, uh, I think, lamps of up to 5,000 lumens at least. I think something like that. Or 3,000 lumens. I can't remember. I think 5,000 is too much, right? Yeah, like 3,000 lumens. Not so strong light, no so soft. Okay. And most likely white light, right? Okay. About lighting, about having hand handrails. I think that's the way you write it. Handrails, which is pasamanos. Handrail. Is it handrail? I can't remember. No, handrail. No. Okay, I remember it said handrail. Handrail. Pretty. Yeah, yeah, that's the word, but it's just one L. Okay, handrails. About the handrails, pasamanos, you know, on the stairs. Uh, and also, um, step mats on the stairs, for example. Wheelchair access. And so on, right? So the government was auditing companies, making sure they had all of these um, accessories, these uh, facilities, you know, these these amenities. I'm sorry, for employees. And after doing that, they started delivering and demanding companies to have uh, a first aid and personal protective equipment training per year. So nowadays, every year you have to do that training and they, they send uh, bomberos, you know, fireworks, I'm sorry, fire, firefighters, they send firefighters to, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, they send firefighters to deliver the training. And the, the Red Cross collaborates as well, some workers from Red Cross. What else? What else? What other trainings are coming for you? What about teamwork? Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. I like that. Okay. Any other? What about finances? <laughs> ah. You may laugh about this, you know, finances is. I had a short story. When I was working at the tire importing company, they, since it was a family business, they, they are part of my, of my family, but they had a problem, you know. Employees used to approach the general manager, okay, and go like, for example, there was this kid, right, working uh, as a salesman, he, he, I was in a meeting with the general manager, with the owner, and we were talking. And then this this kid comes into the meeting room, and he goes like, "Hey, engineer, I cannot pay the university this month. I need money. Can you help me again? I'm so sorry." And 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 he got upset. You know, come on again, again. This is the third month that I have to pay your university. You know, and 
what do you do with your money? You're making good money. You're selling a lot. What's going on? Oh, I don't know. I I don't know where I do with the money, you know, and I have to pay the university. No, I'm so sorry. This is the third time I cannot continue giving you money for your university and you don't pay it back, you know, it's a problem. Okay, and he left all sad, you know. So what I did is um, I suggested him I told him, hey, why don't we start a, a cooperative? You know, what is that, right? Why don't we start a cuchuval? You know, things like that, right? Gathering money and putting it on the bank and whoever needs money can make a loan and we gain some interest out of these loans. At the end of the year, we split the earnings. And you know what he did? He said, Okay, do it. And like, I, I was just giving you the idea. Yeah, do it. And I was like, ah, damn it. So I created a cooperative. I was in charge of the account, giving the loans, you know, calculating the interest. And at the end of the year, everybody was happy because I gave them back some interest, a lot of interest, actually. So they were very excited. And we continue working with that for two years. So finances because people don't know how to manage their money you can teach them how to use a cash flow do you know how to use a cash flow do you know what is a cash flow no Un flujo de efectivo? yeah yeah that's that's very simple it's just income outcome money comes in money comes out but you keep control <laughs> every month and you project. You're, you're necessary. You need a budget. <laughs> it's similar to a budget. Yes, it is a budget, basically, because you can plan your money. So that's finances. Okay. So now that we have these topics, you tell me, let's select one to do here in the class. Which one should we, let, let's pretend that we already had the training of one of these communication among coworkers, how to avoid accidents at work or first aids and PPE, teamwork. I think teamwork goes with the first one, right? Emotional intelligence and finances. So we have one, two, four topics, four topics. Which one should we choose? What, which one do you want to use right now so we can do this? Uh, Rubric. Come on, guys. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Just choose one. Really? Talking to myself. Oh, 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 talking to myself. Carla, select one of the four. Emotional intelligence. Okay, so we're we're scratching off emotional intelligence. Okay, emotional intelligence, and I said teamwork can be aborted or can we study, we can study it here with communication among coworkers. Okay, so let's go with emotional intelligence. First of all, what did we learn on the training about emotional intelligence? Okay, about emotional intelligence, we can talk about self-awareness, empathy, motivation, self-control, adaptability, okay? Self-motivation, which is different to motivation, okay? So 
With that being said, con eso dicho, with that being said, once we have received the training, what am I evaluating? Empathy. Uh huh. Use of empathy. How good is the employee using empathy now that he learned what is empathy? Okay. What else? Maybe how to deal with problems or bad situations. Oh. Huh. How like we... when when you have a, a bad client and or something like that. Hmm. Controlling his character, say it in, a, in two or three words. Uh, Self-control. Hey, good. <laughs> yes, good. Self-control. Self-control, okay. Now, <laughs> this is becoming interesting. Okay, what else? How uh, uh, to motivate Oh, motivation. Uh -huh. you know what let's simplify this let's call it mood what's your mood so what's the employee mood today let's go one by one use of empathy how can we determine someone's empathy Imagine that you are the trainer, you deliver the trainer, or you are the boss of these people, and you have to go, and you're going to use this little chart to evaluate them. If they, they do good with empathy, if they use empathy with their coworkers, as simple as that, how do you do it? In the, in the action... Yeah. Uh, Actually, actually, uh, uh, you are you are uh, you are in the office, mm -hmm. uh, going to the co working uh, uh, pedir, and you ask for ask for the ask for the, the, the uh, I know uh, in the paper information or report, and you uh, say ah. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not. It's not it's my problem. Uh, of simple, uh, of simple. Uh, uh, to work and say, "Vení uh, otro uh, rato, otro momento." Come back later. They come back later. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a. It's a way the the boss uh, evaluate or the empathy evaluate uh -huh, evaluate the empathy good so so how how will you do it if if the situation doesn't happen while you are evaluating how can you do it think this is simple there are two ways of doing it helping to other co co-workers that's my point i mean that's what you expect to see on the co-work on the, on your on the employee but if that it doesn't happen you know because these situations in reality doesn't happen very often right you could expect as ivan is saying to watch the employee bringing water to a co-worker who is in a wheelchair or just to everybody going going to you know, standing up for from his desk to get some water, and he asks everybody else, "Hey, do you need water, Adriana? Do you need water, Fatima? Do you need water? Okay, let me bring some water for you, man." Right? Uh, it's like a uh, uh, the the what is the phrase? Uh, servicial. He's helpful. Helpful. Right. This is what you expect to observe, but how do you do it? Okay, number one cameras don't tell him because if not it wouldn't be something natural right it will be something forced you got it yeah it makes sense right you don't evaluate someone and go like um, adriana go and do something with empathy for your employees for your co-workers come on i have to see it 
<laughs> she's gonna go like, okay, <laughs> I'll give them money, right? <laughs> that doesn't work. So cameras, okay. Or you ask the person, tell me something you have done for your co-workers this week. Man, if he goes like, uh, uh, Patricia, right? Uh, uh, I don't know, Bob. Right? I don't know. I haven't done anything to for, for Adriana or my coworkers, you know. Okay, then that, that's another way. So question it. This, this will be the only way of finding out about empathy. But the best, the best way will be shadowing, you know, um, watching the cameras, right? Undercover, undercover. That was the only way. Self-control. Now that you got the idea, how do you do self-control? How would you evaluate if someone maybe, is... Maybe with a role play. A role play? How? Yes. For example, in, in my... Um, in my case, <laughs> when I was um, maybe like a monk in my company, mm -hmm. they put me in a in a role play, and the the situation was like uh, they they was he, uh, uh, like a a bad client. There, wa there was uh, there was like there a was, bad client. Uh, there was like a, a bad client, and he was like, uh, "And when you will have done this, uh, uh -huh. like this situation, like uh -huh. a rude, demanding, rude, uh -huh. upset." Uh, yes. Uh, so they want to know to see how how I can deal with that kind of situations. <laughs> stress. That kind of stress. Good. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Now, what do you think? What would you expect? Let's talk about your expectations about this area. This is very interesting, actually, guys. If you're paying attention, you will learn a lot. If God gives you the chance of being a supervisor, it's not easy. And this is what makes it difficult, you know, because you have to understand this to apply it. How will you, what would you expect from, from a regular person, from a normal human being, when somebody's yelling at your face, are you stupid? Why are you doing this? Come on, your company sucks, you know. Come on, I ask you for a favor. Where's your supervisor? You know nothing about this. How do you deal with this kind of stress? Okay, what I used to expect is, the people placing the customer on mute if it was a phone call or just asking him for a minute, right? Okay, wait for a minute, please. I'll be right back with you. Hang in there, okay? Go and maybe to another room and go like, <laughs> just get the stress out. We used to have a punching bag. You know what is a punching bag? Boxing bag? Nelson? Yeah, a boxing bag. A punching bag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we used to have That's... a punching bag in, in the floor on tech support because, pff, man, this used to happen all the time, all the time. I just bought, but, but it was logical. I mean, in to have self control, you need empathy. What? Yes. You have to be very empathetic with the client with the customer and think well this guy actually just paid one thousand five hundred dollars for a computer and it doesn't work <gasps> and i sold it to him and i sold him the computer oh my god so empathy sir i'm so sorry that this happened uh, i'm i'm ashamed you know this never happens Trust me, this is a great brand. Uh, I can even replace the computer for you right away. You know, or if you want, we can do some upgrades. 
<laughs> you make more money out of the situation. That was good. I was good at it. Okay. So role playing. That's an option. What else? What else could you do? To check self-control on a person after receiving this emotional intelligence training. I don't know, but could be maybe give them some problem without solve or without an answer. Mm. Okay. Um, resolve. Uh, I mean, especially to see how them can affront that problem. Mm -mm. Resolve the scenario. Wait, I'm doing this wrong. Resolve the scenario. Okay. A case. Yeah. There you're testing their uh, problem solving capabilities if they're capable of resolving the problem step by step and having self-control. This has to do as well with your coworkers, right? Right? Something happened in a call center uh, where I was. You know, in, in these call centers, you have breakout rooms and there are fridges, you know, refrigerators where you can leave your, your lunching box. And we had an issue. There were no cameras on these rooms. And there was someone, we didn't know who, eating everybody else's food. So at lunch, can you imagine going to your refrigerator and finding your lunch gone or halfway gone? Somebody bit it. Oh my God, stolen your food. How would you react? That's that's what you you have to, that that's where you really test your self control. Okay, and the last your mood. This is simple. How do you test someone's mood? How do you can you tell about someone's mood? For me, just having a conversation with. Yeah. 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 Your first impression, this this could be a parameter. First impression versus um, moving on with the conversation, you know, uh, versus having a fluent conversation, right? What does he talk about? What is this person's topic, right? I had a friend at church who, I mean, she was divorced, but all the time she was talking about her divorce. And she spent like five years talking about her divorce and blaming the husband, the ex-husband. I'm sorry. That was that was her mood. You know, always talking about how she's a, a single mom of two children and the guy is a millionaire, you know, and left her. I mean, uh, five years. I mean, at the beginning, we were like, yeah, man, yeah. But later, we were like, oh, God, here we go again. That's the mood. Okay. Having a fluent conversation is this person is always happy. I mean, you can tell, right, when somebody's happy or, happy or no. And then how does this rubric work? Well, these areas are not seen by the person you are evaluating. But instead, you just put a check mark, right? And that's it. That's all your job. Imagine use of empathy, uh, average, you know, the regular response from someone who uses empathy at work is average. Okay. Okay, so in average, this person uses empathy, self-control. Self-control. Excellent, Excellent self-control. He knows what to do. This is the most difficult in this chart for me. Self-control will be the like the most critical, I will say. If it is on customer service or sales, 
<laughs> can you imagine a salesperson without self-control? <laughs> can you imagine? I worked three years on glad of customer service. So Oof. I had a very good self-control. <laughs> Next song. Maybe perfect. Oh, wow. Good liver. <laughs> Buen hígado. Hígado. Good liver. Okay. <laughs> and the mood, right? Let's say this person is always happy. Okay? And that's your job. Just put a check mark. Yes, but sometimes you need to add some observations. Use of empathy. You can even write down something like uh, in person, right? In small letters, you know, like on each chart, how you did the evaluation. Was it in person? Was it by through the cameras, right? Just put it on the little chart. How did you perform the evaluation in person? Okay, self-control. How did you do that? Uh, case study, let's say. As, as Erica was saying. Okay, and the mood. How did you determine that he had an excellent mood? Okay, how did how do we do this? Always smiling. When you talk about the mood, you talk about the attitude. Yeah, the mood. Okay. What's your mood today, Erica? Mm -hmm. huh? always is my own <laughs> okay so you feel blue yes okay by the way guys feeling blue is not something positive okay so feeling blue is bad it's like feeling sad like this song. <laughs> oh, Diana? like this song what song you okay I think that I thought that sing you have it, heard. Sing it. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just search in YouTube. <laughs> just look for it in on YouTube. Okay. I'm blue. I'm blue, and I will feel yeah, that yes, one. That's... Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, I just remember it says I'm blue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like the song. Okay, I'm sending you this little chart. Let's do this easily. I mean, you're missing. We are missing finance finances and we're missing how to avoid accidents at work and communication among co-workers or teamwork related so we have three topics i'm going to split you in three groups just do this chart easily the same way we did okay think about three areas to evaluate out of the training okay Got it. So three to four participants. Eh, por favor, nadie se quede en ese salón. Vamos todos juntos, aunque no puedas participar. Te invito a que te unas para prestar atención a tus compañeros. Okay. Let's go. A little chart on Excel, if possible. Yolman, Samantha, let's go. Teacher. Teacher. 
know if if make a In the chat the WhatsApp. In group, uh, make the 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 rubrics for finance. Okay. Or or PPE. PPE. Yeah, it's up to you. Personal protective equipment, first aid. Choose one. Oh, okay. Nelson. Nelson, Ruth, please try to collaborate. Hello. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear when it's raining. Yeah, it's raining here okay, too. Maybe, yes, uh, maybe. Through the chat. Teamwork. Okay, Fatima, can you hear me? Yes. I don't know whatever whatever you want. Whatever you want. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my dad is here. <laughs> so a uh, communication among co workers. <clears throat> okay, okay. Mm. Okay, in my teams. Yeah. Oh yeah, go ahead. In my team, we have one row. <coughs> Any insult, it doesn't matter how much uh, a how to say it, uh, confianza oh, you have man. with another one. But you cannot insult. Even use the, the word maje, we cannot use it. And if you use an insult for another coworker in, in my team, in my in my team case, we save <clears throat> a quarter or a twenty-five cents in a little cuchito, in a little piggy <laughs> for the end of the month. <laughs> so who's, we who's doing that? In my team. <laughs> Wait, you are the supervisor, right? 
Yes, I am. Was that your idea? Yes. <laughs> who, who gave you the idea? I'm sorry? Who gave you the idea? When when I was working in Claro, uh, 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 I could work a say, uh, one of my coworkers says, <clears throat> because I don't like <coughs> if you told me maje or if you told me que right. pedo for me is <clears throat> the huge insult that you can give to me so I don't like it so I, we, we found in that rule working class so <laughs> I moved that idea from my team <laughs> it's just that uh, a supervisor I had used to have this technique as well you know we had a uh, a place to put the money bucket to put the money and at the end of the month we used to eat a parrillada or something on the on one of the floors of the building at the end of the month yeah <laughs> that's a great idea yeah actually it is <laughs> oh but he used to do it if you were late for work Actually, if you're late, you have to save 50 cents. <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so, areas, maybe expressions? <clears throat> or, yeah, expressions? Okay. Mm. Yeah, or the way that you are talking to others. <coughs> I think also no communication. Communication efficiency. <coughs> Effective communication. More efficient communication. Okay. But it is the other way around. Efficient communication or effective communication? Efficient communication. I don't know if we can say it along with the word. Oh, really? Really? Sure. With the word. Another one? Responsibilities, yes. maybe responsibilities. Okay, then, teacher, and with this, we have to put uh, if it's excel excellent, average, or poor, and the reason. Yes, I would suggest you to give an idea of your decision, you know, like, why are you doing that? Okay. Is the accomplished task? <clears throat> Average and the reason. Um, 
that? I, I, I think because I think in a team and a team world, no, all the people work. Ajá, eso quería poder, pero no sabía cómo se come. <laughs> que las tareas no son hechas como no son o no están repartidas así como bien pues, sino que uno tiene un sobrecargo pero no sé there is no equity mm. there is no equity uh. right now right now equity Equity. 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 Company, we have to put poor. <laughs> relationship with relationship people. with workers always is uh, difficult mm -hmm. because no, no, all understand that the other people is things different. <laughs> Pero me llamen que hubiera que cargar aquí a su mapa. Ok. No sé qué iba a decir la ropa. <risa> It's raining here. <risa> It's raining in San Salvador. En San Miguel, no. Not in San Miguel. No, it's not the rain. September 15th is my day off. And we're not having a class on Friday, yes. <laughs> so don't no, worry. No, but it's my day off in the, in, in the work. At work is your day off? In the company. Oh. Yes, in my... <laughs> because I rest three days each two weeks. Two weeks, uh, 
eh, how do you say dos semanas? Eh, two weeks. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Cada dos semanas is two weeks. It's two weeks, creo. Every two weeks. Ah, every two weeks. Or every other no, week. No, como así como una palabra para los dos. Every other week. Una semana sí, una oh. semana no. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, responsibility. Um, How do you say comprometido? Committed. Okay. Engaged. Uh, no, no. Comprometido con una acción o con algo. Con el equipo. Con el equipo. Con el... Uh -huh, you have two options. So you have engaged or committed. Okay. We have to make one chart for topic. Uh -huh. for That's right, one chart per topic. My God, it's raining really strong here. Where do you live, teacher? What do you mean by what? Where do you live? Oh, in Mexicano, San Salvador. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Your one is... First eight. It's Tronando. How do you say Tronando, teacher? It's uh, there's a thunderstorm. There's a thunderstorm. Aunque no esté lloviendo. It's thundering. It's thundering. Oh yeah, it's thundering or there are lightning strikes. Lightning strikes. There is thunder. Lo más fácil la lightning. No, no sé. Oh my god, it's, yeah, lightning strike. Lightning strike. So there are strike. lightning strikes. Lightning strike. Pero eso no se puede usar cuando se va la luz. No, when there's no light, you say there's an outage. Mm. There's a power outage, there's outage, there's an outage. First, uh, teacher, and this is what first aid and PPA. And PPE, Hi. yeah, PPE, right. personal protective equipment. Personal protective. Okay. Okay. Now I have a leak. A what? A leak. First leak. Ah, and <laughs> that leak is but getting, later. yeah, and that leak is coming towards me now. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to put agua calde, yeah. <laughs> You know what? Give me just a what minute. <laughs> I'm getting fluted here, so stay just a minute, okay? Okay. Bye. Got it. First aid and people. In the lesson area. Uh, 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 uh. In this case, I think Hold it's on. like I think it's like the what what you have to to act. Uh, what you have to make when you do first aid. Pero no sé qué se hace. Mira, sí. Maybe. Mm. 
es que depende. Ah, de puede cuál, ser, mire. Shrek de Vital Sun. Ah. O sea, si sabe cómo, check de Vital Sun. Ajá. Voy a ponerle Okay, my feet got wet. Okay, okay. Mm. Okay, consideration. Hey, good job. You're doing the three. Yes, everybody's doing the three areas: the, the first aid, the the teamwork, and the other one. Good job. Okay. So first, assignated, assigned. Assigned. Assigned, uh huh. Assigned. Signed. Equip equipment. Without the. Also for assign equipment. No, equipment is okay, but, oh, well, the T, the T, right? Uh huh. But the equipment, no, the. Remove the article. Also for assign equipment. And that's it, now consider it. Es que teacher, aquí le queremos poner como, como asignarlo de acuerdo a la complexión de la persona, que no quede como muy pesado. Uh, tailored. Hold on. Depending on the assigned area, use the appropriate equipment also for assign equipment to fit the uh, the person. To fit the person. Otra forma de decirlo sería tailored. As it tailored to the person. Fatima, in the number three, as, uh, as uh, for example, the, the colors and why the main image of the engineer, supervi supervisor, uh, example, yellow operation, helpers, worker, orange road operation, and also used by electricians. Aparte de señalizar las áreas, como que entendamos también qué significa el color de las personas que andan en ese tipo de área. Que alguien que ande vestido de rojo es porque está en una área o en una brigada de, de una zona que manipula algo contaminante o tóxico. Uh -huh. According, according, <laughs> according uh -huh. the, the color, I don't know, the, the, uh, area. the, the area of, of, of work. According the color. Aha, uh -huh, the color. Mm -hmm. No. No poner. O uh, as the area number four, I think. No sé. <coughs> No, because 
This is the the point to to talk about sign and the risk zone and areas. Mm -hmm. se puede colocar un if, por ejemplo, decir if if the color is red, the risk is heavy. No, ¿cómo sería alto en este caso? Is uh, height. Height, a high height. If the color is red, the risk is high. Is yellow, uh, medium, or uh huh. Is low if the is green. I don't know. I have the depend depending the depending the color depending of the color. Uh -huh. Depending of the color. Oh. Of the color. If red, if there is, or if if the area, uh -huh, uh -huh. if there is, if the, if the area have a high risk, or if high risk, color is red. According according the according uh, to the, the risk uh, according to the risk assign different uh, sing a song sing a song Adriana what is what is the song sorry what is the song what song <laughs> your song what <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, we have problems in the the audio. audio. With who? Whose audio? The king. Uh, uh, all. <laughs> Everything. Everybody, why? Yeah. <laughs> Erika, for example, can hear you. I can hear you too. You can't? Yeah, I can. I do. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I know my name. Mm -mm. Aunque si me está costando porque es demasiado el ruido que tengo. Es que hay una tormenta bien fuerte. Yes, here. And I have a leak. A leak? Yeah, and that leak is approaching my desk. Lick is like gotera. Ah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, the, the, the training finance is a finance personal or finance the company? Uh, I'm sorry, what do you mean? Oh, ah, yeah. The training which the training the training about the finances uh, uh -huh. the training finances 
es usa personal finances. Personal, personal finances or, or job finances. Well, uh -huh. it's personal. Finances are always personal. Uh -huh. I mean, okay. regarding a training, you will train people to control their finances. As the example that I gave you, así como le di el ejemplo de bicho que llegaba siempre a pedir dinero prestado al, al patrón, ¿verdad? porque no podía pagar la universidad, hasta que se aburrió el patrón y buscó otra manera de ayudarle. Right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so, but in this area of finances, what would you evaluate? Um... Uh, maybe. Ah, uh... Ay, se me olvidó la palabra. Desperdiciar. Waste. Waste. Por ejemplo, paper. Oh. Mm. Okay. That, that sounds like, yeah, like finances at work. Yeah. Oh, I got your point, Erika. It's true. At work. How do you reduce the, the work uh, wasting of materials? Mm -hmm. I listen, listen a lot of now. No. Uh, rain, yeah. Rain. Uh, uh, Adriana, you should just type reduce company waste or no materials waste. Okay. And waste is W A S T E. Okay. W A S T E. Materials waste. W. Waste, mija, waste. <laughs> waste, waste. W A S T E. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, without the I. Waste. Waste. <laughs> waste. No, no. no. <laughs> waste. No bullying no, no. teacher. <laughs> There you go. Good. No, waste. <laughs> Al waste, no. <laughs> right, okay. Waste. It used the materials waste. Uh, wait, wait. Remove the article. Reduce materials waste. Or remove the article. The material. Ah, okay. Yeah, and later you can explain, right? Like uh, paper, toilet paper, even toilet paper. Coffee. Yeah, yeah, all things. Coffee, mate. <laughs> you you wouldn't <laughs> go to the restroom and see if they waste toilet paper, right? <laughs> how, how much paper did you use? Let me see. <laughs> That's too much. Oh my god. I, I remember I remember in the programs. The, the name of the program is uh, extreme stinging. Stinging? Tacaños mm. extremos. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice the, program. The... <laughs> yeah. The, um, in the case the the una pareja que the, take, take, take a shower <laughs> in the same uh, soup. <laughs> In the same shampoo. <laughs> yeah, I know. They re utilize, re reuse everything. Mm -hmm. I got. Okay, you know what? Time is up. <laughs> you have a minute.
Okay, I think we're back, right? Yeah. Hey, I love what you have done. Is it was amazing. Um, who would like to share their their charts? They all look great. I have to tell you, all of you did a great job. So, who would like to share their chart? Show me your rubric. 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 Just one. Don't fight, don't fight. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, I'll be the judge then. Because I, I loved it. I think it was who was it, Adrian? Oh, wait, which team was it? Yeah, Jamie. Jamie, Jolman, Carla, and Vanessa had a were doing something on PowerPoint, I think, or something. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's raining here. Can you see it? Yep. Well, um, we decide to, to choose this evaluation area in a team, for a team work and accomplish that efficient communication relationship with coworkers and responsibility. Because we think that these areas are important to apply in a team work. If you don't have this this one you you are not working in team. So we think that it's very important to accomplish so well, we, we decide to, to, in this case, choose average because there's no equity. 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 Then, if you don't have equity, equity in, your, in your team, so the communication is bad. So, if information is in the correct one, and if you don't have a feedback and the, the right communication, it's for the reason you don't you don't have a, a great great relationship with your forward. So it's difficult because of the people think different and create a bad environment. And their responsibility, well, well, we, we choose avarice as the same because the team are not committed. Wait, the team members are not committed or the team is not oh, okay. committed? Uh -huh. Team members. Team members. Are not committed. Good job. Okay. Then with the first A and PPE, the evaluation areas that we choose is check the vital signs. Vital, vital signs? Final sparks. Uh huh. Why? And because it's necessary if you are um, if you are uh, helping another people that suffer an accident. So okay. it it has to be excellent because if if you don't know about it, the person so, so, could die. I, I know. I know. <laughs> So if you are in the team of first of aid, you have to I'm know. Sorry, it is just reminded me of the video on TikTok. You call nine one one and hey, uh, I just kill, I just kill my friend. Yeah, you can. You Check can if cause that the, the the accident could be worse. So it's important. To know. Yes, I'm sorry, but wait, how are you going to evaluate that? You're going to go like, hey, can you? Check my vital signs. Show me, show me how you check my vital signs in person. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Oh, of course, right? Yeah, that will be a, a role play. That's a role play. Good yeah. job. Then, if you have your the the first aid kit complete, and in the case of the PPA that the employees use for use properly, and then the that the warehouse has to to have that they have to to make if they are if are if it is in the bottom then accomplish the days of pay taking if the make the the payments are doing in the in the day that you you determine it without delay and evaluate profit profit profitability Profitability. So you can check it, increase the profit if you have. You now this is about about the employee. You're evaluating no. if the employee made it to the quincena with money, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you still have money? Okay, yeah. the training <laughs> worked. Okay, good job. <laughs> Awesome job. Thank you very much, Vanessa. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. You see, Vanessa speaks very well, actually. Good job, good job. Huh. Who else wants to present? Come on, don't be shy. Okay, Vanessa, select someone out of your team, someone who is not on your team. Um, the next in my screen is Fatima Aguilar. Okay, Fatima's team. Okay, let's go. Hector, you present. You, you defend. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Come on, it's easy. Um, I will try, Fatima. I don't know. Let's go, Fatima. Go ahead, Fatima. You have the power. <laughs> Just a word. Um, use equipment adequate. Um, evaluate uh, depending on the signal area. How use the the appropriate appropriate equipment also for assigning equipment to fit the person. And every week the team must review the equipment condition if very well. And second is self care techniques at work and care in the technique to get up heavy objects and use heavy machinery. Also, how to see to avoid lumbar problems and give check, check out medical for the employees. And the number three is signal, signal the, re, the right areas and the container. A description and classify the risk zone and according on the risk, will be a signal a different helmet color. Identify the person in, in the area. Good job. Just one thing. You say assigned. Assigned. Very good. Assigned. Hey, that's a good idea. The color of the helmet varies depending on the um, 
on the what on the risk of the area they work on, right? Yes. I think that's uh, Eric, uh, Carla, Carla, is that the way it is? Is that the way it works on real life? The color of the helmet is red or yellow, depending on the area? Yes. It it's does. depending on the area the color. There are white, red, yellow. Those are the ones that I have seen. I have seen white, yellow, and red. No, yellow. there are blue, gray, the most, the most common is yellow and black. And yellow is like no white. White. Uh oh. Yellow is for yellow is for the auxiliary. The ones on wrist. And, yes, in black. No, in white. Is for the for the, for, the, for, the, for the professional uh -huh. for, for the professionals. Okay, okay. Thank you. Now you know if you go to a construction area and you want to talk to a supervisor, go for the white helmet. <laughs> okay. And in in this case, we mm -hmm. use gray color because. Uh, uh, we, uh, I, I work in the supervision, and and there are other engineers or professionals in the in the in the constructor. The construction in the, area. In the, uh, no, el constructor. Está construyendo. Yeah, the the the, the constructor. The constructor. The constructor yeah. Uh -huh. The constructor, the engineer of the constructor, use a color white. Where's a white and, helmet? Okay. And, and for to have a difference, we use gray. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. To differentiate. To differentiate. It's gonna come work. And differentiate. Okay. Would you like to continue, Fatima? I don't. No. Okay. Let's move on, guys. I have something for you. Um, I don't know how to share it. Because if I share it, I just copy it and paste it. It may lose its format. This is is a quick quiz. Well, it's a quiz, basically. A very easy quiz. Ah, oh, hold on. I'll share it in two sections, okay, on the WhatsApp. We need to fill out this quiz. It's very easy, actually. You just need to. Um, the first section is multiple options. You just need to select the right option. <clears throat> but please do it in, in teams, OK? We're going to work in teams. Do some teamwork uh, to do this, because it's, it's, we need to make sure that everybody understands the whys. Why we're doing this? Hold on, I missed it. Okay, that's the first section, and the second section is to rewrite the sentences with what you're given. So, for example, the first part you will do. It says, "I like playing football. I like swimming." Right. So you need to do not only but also, but also both in. So both. Good. So you can you need to rewrite the sentence using not only but also, and then again with both and okay. Okay. Good. Let me split you once again, please. Teacher, the first first part we have to complete. Yes, the first paragraph is just to select the right option. Is it A, B, or C? Ah, okay. The second okay. option is A, B, or C, and so on. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay, let's do it.
Okay. We choose. Uh, the letter. Right. What do you think? And I, I, I think in the hills is there. The first. El ventilador, porque quizás eso es que hacía ruido. En the, in the first sentences, in the number one, I think it's let it be. No. Yes, I think too. He plays the piano. Yeah, I think. Because he only plays the piano, not the other the other instruments. Maybe. And then The third one is we space drink space eat anything. We are free. Uh, uh, uh. For me, it's letter B. We not only drink, but also eat anything. Ah, no. I think it's letter A because in the final part it says anything. I think it's it's saying that they didn't eat anything. But I'm not sure. What do you think? Okay, and the and the yeah, this yeah. Is, say say we are full. Estamos llenos. Uh -huh. We are full. But in this part, it said anything. I think it's like nada. We neither drink nor eat anything we are because they are food. I think. We, 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 we neither. What do you think? We neither drink nor eat anything we are food. We tomamos. We tomamos. Perfect. 
Number four. Carpenter made a wooden table. Three chairs for us. Okay, in this let one, see, let it see. not only the carpenter made not only a wood table, but also the picture works. The chairs for us. What sentence? Yeah. Right. Teacher. Hey. You're done. You're done. Hi. Hi. What? Really? But with the first part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, keep going. Hector, you're going to share the second part? Sorry, sorry? Uh, you're going to share the second part? Are you going to? Are you going to? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Two minutes. Please. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. You can do it. <laughs> this part. Uh, I think he's he's having problems with the audio. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Okay, good job actually, everybody doing that. It's not difficult, right? I think you, you got it at this point. Remember Friday, we don't have um, classes. Uh, that's gonna be a holiday, a national holiday. So we don't have classes. And please make sure you finish the platform up to the midterm, if I'm not mistaken. We saw that yesterday, right? Remember, yeah, up to the midterm. So I can just upload your grades. Tonight, I'm staying with Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. If he has 10 minutes. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Okay, so let's go. Adriana Jose Cerna Durán. Present. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. 
Present. Thank you. Fátima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present. Thank you. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present. Iván Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. Is there? Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Present. Thank you, Iván. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Lucy was here. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Present. Thank you. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. She was here as well. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have some Present. Rest. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Ya le va a pegar Carla. Es que no escuché mi nombre. Behave, behave, Carla. Behave. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Okay, Mr. Rodas, how are you? I'm fine, Mr. I'm a little tired, but I'm fine. Hours, just nine minutes. So uh, on this session, since this is the first time I'm with you, um, I'm asking all of you the same questions. You know, it's just three questions. Uh, number one, what has been your experience with English? You know, without mentioning any academies, but what has been your story with English? And um, among this story, that's the second question. What have you identified like your main area of of uh, opportunity is it speaking grammar um understanding the listening or is it writing what is it you know oh speaking i'm sorry is it what is it so we have two and the last question is the most important are you doing anything other than the two class the, the two hours of class are you doing anything to improve your english okay in the first one Oh, I, I have a, a lot of experience because I, I have been studying English maybe five years ago, maybe I don't know, but, but no, frequently. But is maybe I study one year, I I live one year, and I restart again. Uh, two years again, but uh, finally I I start studying with uh, Insafor English Corporativo uh, once years ago. To be honest, uh, twenty one September twenty two, and I. I think I I can learn more than the the other academic, mm -hmm. but, but I think every single class or every, or every single session, I I was learning little by little, and it's good. It's good, and the second one. Yes, about What's, learning. Uh -huh, the most difficult thing for you. Okay. I don't know what happened, but is is the pain of of the teacher. Huh. Yes, because I, in my experience with with different teacher in in the cooperative, mm -hmm. so just I I can understand everything that they say speak. Mm -hmm. Explained, and I can understand. But the other teacher is difficult. Maybe hearing, mm -hmm. and 
And I, I think I, I need to more, more grammar and more vocabulary. I think that I need that all that I need. But to be honest, in, in your case, I think it's, it's more difficult to, to, to understand how to, how do you speak? Mm -hmm. but no, wait, wait. Do you, it's not difficult or is difficult? It's difficult. It's difficult. Oh. Because it's the, it's, you is the, the first teacher that speak that I feel, I feel uh -huh. that at the, at the end of the world, how to don't say the last, the, the last letters, the oh. word. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes, I, I think it's difficult to for me to understand at the end of the every every word, mm. but no, not always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is oh. the only the only problem. But but I have I like to how how to play, how to teach, and but to be honest, mm -hmm. I I I wish to learn I focus in to learn vocabulary and grammar. I wish I wish because I think that I need you need it, of course. Yes. I mean I mean learning English will change your life definitely. And what are you doing? Just getting more vocabulary. The the, the hormone time I oh the the link that you sent at uh, the, the first class I I like how to looking for a word and I like to the the speech that I say the but audios also, the audios the audio yes mm -hmm. but also I maybe weeks ago I. I like to watch and, and listen to a speech about Barack Obama. <laughs> yes, I, I because I like how 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 to he is how he speaks how he speaks because I like the 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 pause or I don't know how do you say because he speaks slow and take a, a pause of to say another word or ya yeah. no sí él I se like... expresa muy claramente muy articuladamente yes. eso es lo que él tiene que es muy articulado al hablar ok good Nelson vamos a trabajar en eso eh, eh primero que nada gracias de plano que me ayuda mucho al decirme sí a, a alguna palabra no ahora le pido que me detenga en la clase <laughs> teacher repeat that word Ah, ok. okay. No, no le hace, yes, tenemos no. dos horas y es de eso se trata en la clase. Es como, let's fix that. Sí, let's... de ahí todo lo demás, sí, me, me parece todo. La perdón es eso, de que a veces como que el, el, lo último de las palabras, como que, no entiendo, pero es como que, como cuando le haces eso, eso me cuenta. Final sounds. Final es sounds. Sí, sí, sí. Hay que re, reenforzar eso. Por ejemplo, esa palabra que decía first. Ya a este punto de, ya hay que corregir la verdad, hay que decir first. Ah, ok, sí, yo ent ah. entiendo toda esa parte ahí sé, y sé cuál es la intención de, de no estudiar solo con un maestro, ¿verdad? Sí, cabal, de, ah. ir viendo diferentes uh. acentos. No, y en avanzado tiene que ir como mejorando la cosa. Deberíamos de terminar con unos cheles, ojos azules y rubio al final. El, También el avanzado 6. Sí, entiendo eso, eh, entiendo cómo tiene que ser right. eso. Mm -hmm. A ver, veamos. Uh, grammar. I have been studying English five years ago. I felt it since. I have been studying uh -huh, since five years. No, wait. I have been studying English since five years ago. I have been studying okay. English since five years ago. The pronunciation again. Again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, sin la I. Again. Oh, okay. Again, again, again. Okay. Hay una canción de Lenny Kravitz. Uh, 
when I see you again, again, again. Ajá. A mí eso me ayudó mucho, fíjese, la música, la pronunciación de alguna, algunas palabras, ¿verdad? No todo. One years ago, ahí sonaba la S, one year ago. Incluso year. podría decir a year ago. A year ago. A year ago. Lo siento bien, bien informal cuando se dice así, one year. No, 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 va sin la S. Yeah. Porque years sería el plural, ¿no? Ajá, sí. Two years ago. Muy bien. Eh, esto del I y el one no, no tiene nada que ver con formal o informal. A year ago. De hecho, los americanos se comen la A. A year ago. Year ago. Year ago. Hablan muy rápido. A ver, eh, academy. No sé. Ahí la palabra, la pronunciación igual. Academy. Ah, no, no, no. Se fue sin mayúscula. La, el estrés va en K. No es academy, no, academy, ajá, el estrés va en la, en la segunda, con su, la segunda sílaba. I need to more grammar and vocabulary. I need more grammar and vocabulary sin el to. Not always, también puedo decir, not all the time. Not all the not time. Okay. No todo el tiempo, not all the time. Bueno, hay que practicar. Me llega a estar agarrando vocabulario y eso es como la base. Es muy importante tener vocabulario porque es demasiado. O sea, si todo lo que sé en español lo puedo decir en inglés. Eh, le voy a enviar un video ahí en el grupo eh, sobre una técnica que tal vez le ayude mucho más también. Es uh, la técnica de los 60 minutos. The jam technique. Just a minute. 60 segundos, perdón. Just a minute se llama. Entonces, no sé si algún profesor se los habrá recomendado. Eh, no. Pero es, es bien sencillo, usted, así como quien se para enfrente del espejo y se pone a hablar por un minuto, con el cronómetro en el teléfono, y en español, puede ser en español primero, hablar de trenes, dice el tipo en el video, trenes, eh, los trenes son bonitos, siempre he soñado con viajar en tren, pero nunca he podido, o sea, ahí le va a salir de todo, ¿no? Puc, suena el cronómetro y ya se acaba el minuto, lo vuelvo a hacer una segunda vez en inglés, en que me trabé tercera vez y empiezo a tomar notas en la tercera vez. Él da las reglas, o sea, del juego, ¿no? Es ver qué tanto el cerebro eh, es capaz de sacar, porque el vocabulario sirve mucho, Nelson, cuando uno ya empieza a sacarlo. Y para sacarlo hay que forzarse a hacerlo. Entonces es bien interesante, sí. como no se da cuenta. Uh -huh. Sí, yo siento que uh, por el momento ese es el, el, el mayor temor que yo tengo. Eh, sacar ya el, el vocabulario, porque para hacerle on, honesto, quizás, quizás más de cinco años que estudié en otros lugares, pero como le digo, me los, me los he saltado, los he empezado, quizás he hecho seis meses, un año después, los he dejado otra vez, y para el año pasado que empecé, eh, fue porque me impulsaron también unos compañeros de trabajo, porque ellos han estudiado, quizás tengo como unos diez compañeros que están dentro de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Y por ello es que me impulsé. Muy y, bien. Sí, sí siento de que, de que necesito eso, más vocabulario y más gramática, pero no sé explicarlo con, con, con ejemplos específicos. Eh, es que eso, eso es importante, el vocabulario solo lo va a absorber en contexto, como el PDF que les compartía. ¿Sí? Estar compartiendo, estar, perdón, eh, practicando. En, en oraciones, cada palabra que voy encontrando, cada nuevo verbo, lo voy aplicando, porque el cerebro solo funciona así. En contexto va a absorber la información. Porque sí. relaciona, relaciona el cerebro, es súper poderoso. Ahí en el video, cualquier cosa, y si se le ocurre, le voy a enviar eso al teacher, no, no le hace, no más de 30 segundos, grabes un audio contestando cualquier pregunta, what did you do yesterday? Y empieza a hablar. 30 segundos, yo le envío el feedback, no hay problema. Sí, okay. porque yo este, estos días este es, lo que, es lo que estaba pensando, voy a encontrar a alguien con quien practicar, pero alguien que me corrija, que me diga, ahí no, mira, esto lo dijiste mal, porque decirlo así y se te va a ir mejor o así es. Perfecto. Entonces, eso es lo que, lo que me falta. Sí, haga, otro... hagamos eso, envíenme 30 segundos de audio contestando una pregunta abierta, yo le envío el feedback día siguiente o a los días, como usted guste, me envió otra pregunta, me, me hace la pregunta primero, así como, what will you do on the weekend? I will go to, I will, da, da, da. ok, 30 segundos, yo le envío el feedback de nuevo, no hay problema, este, claro, si no le respondo de inmediato es porque estoy trabajando algo, no, pero nomás yo pueda, 
yo le doy el feedback, ¿ok? Yo eso hago. Si alguien de verdad quiere estudiar, de verdad quiere aprender, me comprometo a hacer eso. No hay problema. Ah, ok. Le agradezco entonces, teacher. Ok, Nelson. Estamos a la orden. Good night. Good night, teacher.